spot back and welcome to the wolf among us. So yeah. One place so far. Wolf among us. This game is pretty cool actually by the way. I actually like it. It's pretty sick. The wolf among us. Episode 1, Faith. Oh yeah, by the way, this game was made in 2013, so I, I will be doing all episodes. No breaks. Wait. But I might do episode 5 for you guys. Like, maybe when... Alright, let's just stop talking, let's just start. Apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Saw somebody. Can I see you on the camera? Bitch, come here. Don't make me come over there. Look, I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just. <sighs> Sorry, Bigby. Didn't mean to be an asshole. Beauty. Hello, Bigby. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, you can't. Sounds like a lie. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Promise me? Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will. But I have to go. Okay. It's not what you might be thinking. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Pretty awesome intro right there. Best 2014 of me. <laughs> and if you guys have any suggestions what games I should play next, just ask me. I might get paid day two. He's sleep serious. He's gotta wake up. All right, let me just touch. Then I'll wake him up to do his job. Fly catcher needs to dust this guy. Can I wear it? Troll, don't wake up, bitch. Okay, yeah. Is this the uh, mailbox? Yep. Been a while since I got any mail. Let's just check, just in case. 
Seventh day in a row. Oh, that's all right. What's my uh, apartment number? Ripped off? What? There's a ripped off. Oh, what's that? Big V's name tag. Oh, so wait. Damn thing fell off again. Wait, so, so my name's Big V. I believe so. How much longer is this gonna go on? Now let's look at it. Doesn't look like the same I as the rest. I think the sheriff would get a permanent listing. Okay, let's go. Let's not go in the elevator yet. Go look around, touch some stuff. All right, now let's wake him up. Freaking sleeping on the job, right? What if someone sneaks in and freaking kills everyone? Retard, wake up. Oh no, I wanted to talk to him. All right, wait. Talk to you. Hey, you wink. for the best. Can I try again? Um, also, I can't wake him up. Alright. Funny thing is, this is the only elevator I can use. I can't. The other one's bound functioning right now, so I'm gonna use this one. <laughs> I actually like this. You have to get it. Let's go. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? I don't know what to say. So, have you? I won't lie to him. Yeah, I did. What? When? Just now. You saw her just now. Just a few seconds ago. She walked past me. You can probably still catch her. Thanks. I don't, I don't want. I think she's cheating on him. So I know it's for the best to f tell him. So. I just don't want her to feel bad. Let's go for Big V's apartment, Fable Town. Refill it. Or someone does that for you. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Alright, let's see. Bluebeard folder. Bluebeard's file. Chinese food. Give me some motherfucking. Oh shit. Probably a bad sign. Someone's in here then. That that's. I bet it's the woodsman that uh guy we beat up earlier. At least this still works. It works. It's, well, you don't know just by looking at it. Okay. It Should help. What the fuck? There's a pig. 
out of here. <sighs> oh, not again. Should I touch him or I'm, I'm scared to touch him, but I'll do it. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Yeah, get out. This guy's like so rude, though. He's so mean. Got a smoke? Are you serious? A pig's gonna smoke? Holy shit. He's really. Oh my god. <laughs> and what I have noticed is a lot. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has gotta stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on. That's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Because I didn't give you a cup. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad? Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't Just make sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. 
She licks it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> he doesn't even have a bed. Wow, that kind of sucks. Not be the woodsman. Who the hell knocks on the fr freaking door like 24 7? Shut up. Alright. Hello. Big B! Snow? Come with me. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? Where are we going? Out in front of the building. We have to get there. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Alright, what the hell is outside? What the hell is that? It looks like a bird or something. What the hell? Oh, it's a coat. Where this is going. Looks like a trap. What is it? I don't really want to do this, but alright, let's do it. <coughs> I played these games before. I played these zombie games. That you girl. Knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? I don't even know what that is, but Who was she? Fate. I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She That's looks familiar. I can't place her though. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. Holy shit, that's fucked up. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. If it's the woodsman. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. I bet the woods it's just... Terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, did you see anyone else? No, no one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No. I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of... us... do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. <sighs> Who the hell would do this? It's fucked up. Yeah. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Just what Either I just something said. very sharp or something with magic attached to it. He's a really great detective, actually. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this?
it's the ribbon. It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? Investigate more. We'll investigate more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Yeah, okay, saw... good idea. I saw blood over there. some blood so I think she was stealth killed because the grass is helpful to be stealth okay, let's, let's blood drops of blood Getty, I can't say it's been it. here an hour maybe okay so an hour ago So she died. Oh my god, so she died over here. No signs that it's been here long. Let's take this. Take everything! Greedy man. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Okay. Oh shit, what is this? Just some loose trash. Blood. So she came Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Yep. Blood. Still wet. So still fresh. Sharp enough. Okay, why would you examine this again? Surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. Why would it even let you go here? There's nothing. Okay, that's weird. Alright, let's talk to her. Alright, not yet, actually. Let's go over here and see what's over here. Ooh, what the hell? Nobody there. Wait, so can I, let me go over here and see if I could go examine, like, can look over here. Can I, nope. Why, why won't you, wh why are you walking? I'm trying to walk this way. <laughs> okay, great. This control, this game has a lot of choices, like, like each five minutes, there's like choices. Alright, this is a long choice though, alright. That's pretty much it for everything there, so we're just gonna talk. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Oh, he's comparing if it was her. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? It's just so... awful. This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head? It's exact. Purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. 
all of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. Oh my god, I can't stop looking at that. I'm gonna fucking dream about that. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. What, uh, what I... is not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Alright. Oh my god. Can you please stop looking at that? Holy shit, man. Thank you. Thanks. What, are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. You mad, bro? Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow! The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep! The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria! Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Didn't want to say anything. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is, is that? Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Are you serious? Buffkin! 
Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Ichabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. I like how all the animals are freaking drinking and smoking. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fuck off. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. I like how you can be the mean guy or the nice guy. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here, somewhere, where books of we'll at sure. least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Mirror? What the fuck? <laughs> I really have to get this appointment squared away. <coughs> Let me know if you need anything. Alright, so, I'm gonna talk to Mira. Hello, Vivian. Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Hi. Worth a try. Yes, that's right. All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here, and we're gonna be no, we going on to part three. So see ya.